I'm on the beach in Florida and I've got the Apex with me and we're going to do some beach detecting. We're going to hit the, um, the towel line up in the soft sand. We're going to hit the wet sand over in the surf. We're going to hit the tide line. We're going to hit the cuts. We're also going to go way up there. I call it the Frisbee Lane is way up at the top where people play games and throw balls and stuff. That's always a good area to hit too. But before we do that, I want to show you a few targets. I've laid out a few targets right here on the ground. These are kind of some of these are some of the coins that you'll encounter. Oh, I forgot to put a pull tab down. But I can tell you exactly where it hits. But uh, let's go ahead and listen to a few of these and look at the numbers. I know a lot of you have been asking to see the numbers, so here you go. There's the nickel range. There's a quarter. Now that's a steak quarter. And there's a dime. And then over here, we have a bottle cap. Now this is the aluminum type of bottle caps you will encounter a lot. They sound really good, but it's hidden up here by bottle cap. If you see the little icon right here, bottle cap, that's about where that's going to hit for those screw-on bottle caps. And then here we have a zinc penny. Gotta love those zinc pennies. Most of the ones you find here on the beach are a lot of the times they are um, encrusted and crusty. But there you have it. There's your tone. So now you've got an idea. Uh, let me see if I've got a pool tab in here. I went out with the AT Pro and found some goodies yesterday. We encounter a lot of tid stakes. Let's see if I've got a pull tab in here. There's a fishing weight. I don't know if I can break it off the string there, the line. I know I've got pull tabs in here. I've a lot of them. There we go. Dig a lot of these. All right, so here is the pull tab. It's hitting about 60, 61, 60. Most of the ones I've encountered so far, if they're buried, they're hitting right at 60. Now you hear the grunt and see how the numbers are jumping on the tent stake. Most of the time you know you're digging a tent stake. If you pop it up into jewelry, you probably won't even hear that. Uh, but right now I've got it in zero discrimination. Imagine that. So uh, now you know the numbers. Let's get started. Let's get out here and find some goodies. All right, now I'm going to show you how to change the frequency on your Ace Apex. It all depends on where you're hunting and what type of detecting you're doing. So you can choose between single frequencies and multi-frequency and multi-frequency salt. So let me show you the different ways to change your frequency. So you hit menu. Keep hitting menu till you scroll down to frequency and you hit the plus or minus button. Now here we have multi-frequency. 
which is great up here in the sand. You have multi salt, which is great for down in the wet sand. You can choose a single frequency, a five for that deep silver, depending on where you're hunting. You can choose 10, single frequency of 15, single frequency of 20, or back to multi frequency. My preference out here is the multi-frequency and the multi-frequency salt for the wet sand. The choice is up to you. Keep in mind when choosing one of the powerful single frequencies that the lower frequencies optimize the higher conductivity targets and the higher the frequency it optimizes the lower conductivity objects. Right now I've got it set in zero discrimination mode and I'm going to go ahead, there's probably a glare, sorry, out here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in multi-salt, uh, that's multi-frequency salt mode. Uh, this machine um, is going to be, so what you do is you put it on frequency and it, MS stands for multi-salt. So we've got it in multi-salt mode and we are going to start gritting. So this is the towel line. Um, the towel line, as you notice, if you look down the beach, sometimes you can see where people are laying their towels and they're setting up their little umbrellas and stuff. That's the towel line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start gridding. And what I mean by grid is I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth. I'll show you by dragging my uh, scoop along the line it'll leave a line on the sand so you will be able to tell where I've been and uh, gonna start gritting and see what we can find I'll see you all on the first find getting a 74 on the apex and I see it down here it looks like a little uh, little jet plane y'all ready to fly away with me let's soar with the apex check it out I got some sort of little necklace this was really deep. It was giving me a, a deep signal. It's pretty tarnished. Look, it's got a moon and stars in there. I'm not sure what it says right now. I see the word moon. But it looks like a little kid's necklace, but on the board with some jewelry. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that was pretty deep. Sweet find. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, let me see what this was hitting in. I was thinking it was like a penny signal or a little higher. It's hitting in the high 70s. Jumping up to 80. And I see part of a shiny chain down here. So let's take a look. See what we got. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a bracelet. What is that? Oh, it's three little elephants. How cute is that? It's got some heaviness to it, so it could be silver and where it was hitting. Let me see, there's, let's see if I can find the mark. My eyes fail me. See if you can zoom in there, right in the middle. It could say 925. If it is, awesome. Silver. I bet it's so. It just has that feel to it. Sweet. Apex is doing well on the beach. I'm loving it. 
better than the pot. go ahead and do a live dig together. I'm getting a pretty solid 80, 81 on the machine. Can you hear that? <laughs> 81. Uh, we'll go ahead and pinpoint that. It is also your silver range, so you never know. And it is a dime. It's getting that green patina on there. Been there a little while. Let's see what else we can find. I'm getting, it's jumping in the 70s, it's in the 70, 71, 72, 73. Right. And it is a lovely bottle cap. Get a lot of these out here. Unfortunately, they sound good, so you're probably going to be digging them. They're aluminum. Let's see what else we can find. All right, right here, I just dug a piece of wire. Sorry for all the noise, but hopefully you can hear this. I'm getting a 70.
All right, let's see what else we can find. what that is. Maybe the back of a watch. I don't know. I'll clean it up and let you know. Alright folks. I already saw it but I kind of pushed the sand back over it so you could see it. I think I got my first ring with the apex. Let's take a look. First I turned the uh, headphones off so you could uh, hear the tone and uh, see the numbers. So take a look. Wasn't very deep. Ringy, eat your heart out. <laughs> it's nice and shiny. Where it was hitting, it was hitting in the gold range. But I don't know, it's really lightweight, so I'll get it back to the room and see if there's any markings in there or on there. Ooh. I think I see a laser design right there. Maybe um, it's the sun playing tricks on me. I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, I got a ring. Ring number one with the apex. Let's see what else we can find. Need a metal detector or detecting supplies? We've got you covered at Digger's Den. That's DD detectors.com also be sure and use code gypsy when ordering that's gypsy all caps thank you all for watching and please like and subscribe